long-term issue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I also want to uh, thank Representative Waters for her leadership on this bill, and of course, Mr. Cassidy and uh, Sally Moore Capital. The thank gentleman's you, time has expired. The gentlelady from California is recognized. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I yield one minute to the gentleman from California who's been advising us that we really do have to make uh, changes in the National Flood Insurance Program. Representative Garamendi, thank you for your work. One minute. The gentleman from California is recognized for one minute. I rise in support of the bill, and I want to thank uh, Congressman Walters and uh, Mr. Grimm for their work. This is desperately needed. A lot to be said and a lot more work will go into this before this becomes law, but it is a major step forward. One example, Ialton, California, in my district, in a, uh, a zone that was mapped with 100-year flood protection, downgraded by the Army Corps of Engineers, now a high-hazard area. Last year, $700 a year for the flood insurance. This year, $7,000 a year, which is about twice the mortgage on that $115,000 house. Not workable. We're seeing across my area insurance premiums of $10,000, $25,000. This bill will stop that, move things back, give us time to deal with what is the fundamental problem in flood insurance, and that is the catastrophic coverage which has to be spread out across the nation. More to be worked on. Good progress. Good bill. Let's vote it out of here and get this thing solved. Thank you. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentlelady from West Virginia is recognized. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to recognize for one minute the gentleman from Florida, uh, Mr. Buchanan, for his hard work. The gentleman from Florida is recognized for one minute. one minute. Mr. Speaker, Flood insurance has been devastating to people in Florida. It's been my region. I've done multiple town halls. It's gone up not 